it's very important to use the correct uh, speed on the shaft. And again, perfect. You see that? One ball over here, two ball over there. That's a pretty good safety right there. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, welcome to another nine ball instructional video and I'm going to crack the balls and then I will break them and I will teach you something uh, how you can use strategy to beat the game and you don't need to play good at all you don't need to have skill and those people who rely on skill they are very inconsistent in tournaments sometimes they win most often they lose and those are the players who are good players who play really really good when you see in the pool hall they make all the balls but that is only one single day other days they miss critical shots and those players are the ones you will beat with strategy use the knowledge to beat those players and you are going to be more consistent when you know how to how to use the mind to win the game you need to use some tactics so here I will break the balls and you don't need to be a good breaker you don't need to have a good uh, strength in the break you just need to focus on following through the cue all the way to the pack so the cue the cue tip will stop before the one ball and that is how you can get good energy in the break. You get the hard break, you don't need to think about any, any strength at all. Just need to focus on following through the cue. Okay? Like that. You saw that? I was focusing on the tip ending over here. I wasn't focusing on trying to shoot hard. I, had, I didn't focus at all in, in, in my muscles, only in shooting my cue and stopping it before, before the one ball. And that gave me a hard break automatically. I didn't need to do anything. I didn't need to try to, uh, try to stroke like this. And it is very, you, you need a lot of, you lose a lot of energy when you, when you keep doing this. You don't need to use muscles in your break. You just need to be relaxed, follow through if you all the way there. I, I didn't need any effort when I did this. No effort. You don't need any effort when you do this. Because when you use a long follow through, it is the same thing as shooting really hard and using a, using a short follow through. You need a lot, a lot of effort when you do this. And you, you don't need any effort when you do this. No effort. To do, to do this. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. So you want to do this in your break shot. You get automatic hard break when you do that. Okay. So now I'm snookered behind the seven ball. So here you can make a, make a push out. In, in a nine ball you can make a push out after the break and your opponent can choose if he, if he gives the shot to you or if he takes the shot. So you want to make, make a push out somewhere to this side of the table and from here the opponent shouldn't be able to make it that easy and he shouldn't have uh, such an easy, easy safety shot either. So I think this is a good place to be with the cue ball for the push out. And my dog is over here, my dog wants to play. So here I make a push out, the six, the, the six ball is in the way, the six can't, I can't uh, shoot the cue ball over here because the six is in the way, so I need to hit the rail first, hit the rail there and there, and start the cue ball somewhere there for the push out. So this is a push out, that's a push out, and now I can choose, should I take this shot or leave it to the opponent? Now this, this is a very tough shot. And uh, 
the cut shot is too difficult, so I am not going to go for that. I, I, will, I will make a safety shot. Here, a safety shot is uh, hitting the one ball on the rail, so the one ball goes over here, but the one ball might hit the six ball. And that's, uh, I, it is a risky shot. Another alternative is to hit the one ball thin, cue ball comes over here, and maybe the one ball will be open there in front of the pocket, so I don't like that either. But there's another way you can do this shot. This is by going rail first. You hit the rail there, hit the one ball there, the one ball goes over here, behind these balls. And even if the one ball stops early, the, the four and nine is blocking the one ball from being able to be made in this corner. So I would choose that alternative. And I would shoot rail first with left spin. I shoot soft. Rail first with left spin. Like, whoops, I hit it full on. I hit it full on. I'll do that again. I didn't mean to hit it full on. So I'm going to do it again. Left spin. Like that. That's a pretty okay safety shot. It could be better. And now the opponent has a tough shot, a long shot on the one ball. So that, that was a successful safety. But I wanted to be, I wanted to hit the one ball uh, fuller because I was afraid to hit the one ball straight on because I need to hit it very close to the one ball to hit the rail behind it to get a fuller hit on the one ball. So I, I took, I went further away and uh, the, that way the cue ball hit the one ball so the one ball went over here instead of going over there. So I want the, uh, it was like this, yeah. So I want to hit, uh, I want to barely pass the one ball to be able to come, uh, uh, to come behind the one ball, so I can hit it fuller. If, if, if I go this way, the one ball will hit the red there and come out into the center of the table, and I don't want that. I want to be behind the one ball as much as possible. And that is also the reason why you need to use left spin on this shot. To go, f uh, to go behind the one ball more. Here you use a lot of left spin. Like that. That is good. That's good. Now the one ball went on the left side of the eight and it snookered behind the eight. If I had uh, went further away from the one ball, the one ball would have come this way, like, like, like you saw in the, in the previous shot. And uh, this is a pretty good safety shot here. And that is, that is how you can use strategy to uh, get a good safety. Because this was the best, best alternative here, to go rail first. Because when, you, when the one ball is close to the rail, and you go behind uh, the ball, you will get like a stop shot. So the cue ball will stop over here, and the ball will go to the other side of the table. And now I will show you the other way, the, the wrong way to do it. By trying to hit it, uh, hit it uh, straight on without hitting a rail first. So this is a safety you can do. This is a bad, bad safety. This is a bad safety. Shoot thin, get the cue ball over here. I will, I will show you the bad safety. This is the bad safety. And you see, opponent has an easy shot on the one ball. That's the bad safety. I will show you the other bad safety that you can do. That many players, that many players do. And it's a mistake. Hit the one ball on the left side, so the one ball goes over here. He, you might hit the seven or the six accidentally and leave an easy shot. And this, this is a safety. Many do hit the six. And opponent has a, has a shot on the on the one ball. Luckily, the four is barely blocking the one. I will show that again to show what what what, uh, what you can get from this wrong safety. This is a wrong safety. See, wrong safety. 
pupil goes up here, he was lucky to get stuck behind the seven. And many players, they attempt to get stuck uh, behind the seven to make the safety, but sometimes the pupil rolls too far, opponent has an easy shot on the one ball. So those were the two safeties that were the, the wrong safeties. And I'll show it again. People try to get behind the seven, they fail. You see, you see that? That was a lucky safety. So that is a, you need to be very exact to make this safety. And this is pretty good, the, the, almost a perfect safety with that kind of shot selection. That many players do that. They attempt for that kind of safety. And you see also many pros, they attempt that kind of safety. And I think that's the wrong way to make that safety. And I will do it again to show you to show you some variations. That's the safety they try. Get stuck behind the seven. Now, now I have a good, good speed control here, but you see the one ball right in front of the pocket. If you go too far, opponent has an easy shot. Now you tell yourself something you want to avoid. Let me do it again. Let me do this shot again. Let's see some variations here. Whoops, I hit that wrong. Oh, look at that. Easy shot for the opponent. And now we do it again. I want to show you that the, this, this safety is not really that easy that many players attempt. Like that. Now I went too far, you see, good example here, you lose a game here. If you play against a pro, you lose a game. And that's the safety, you, do, you want to avoid that safety. You want to avoid getting the one ball close to the pocket. You want to avoid that. So here I will show you the, my first alternative, it is by going rail first. Rail first, before hitting the one ball. Okay, uh, left spin and go behind the one ball, like that. There you go. Ooh. I was a bit unlucky there. But you see that the cue ball is close to that, that rail. I'll do it again. I will do this again. Go behind the, the one ball. Like that, and there we go. There's a pretty good safety there. You see, opponent is too scared. And if the cue ball, if the one ball is coming here, you see that the cue ball is very far away. And the other alternative that I showed you, where, the, where I tried to stop the cue ball over here, if the cue ball went too far, it was over here, and it is a much much easier shot to make the one ball than than if the cue ball would be over here. Okay. So always try to get some distance between the balls. Try to get the cue ball stuck here as close to the rail as possible and the one ball as far away as possible. And I will show you again the same shot. Rail first with left spin like that. I made a shot, you see. I made the shot, and that can happen. So that's that's another, uh, that's a bonus that can happen. You can make the shot if you go rail first. And many pros know this. Rail first. That, that, and I scratched there. It's very bad luck. It was a bad luck. It was a really bad luck there. Yeah, there we go. Red, red first, left spin. There you go. And opponent is a tough shot on the one ball. And a very tough shot if, when the keyboard is so close to the rail. And I'm going to do it again so you see some uh, variations of this shot. Rail first, 
like that. Safety, safety. And I will do it again. Uh, most of the times, this this shot with the rail first is the best best choice to make. Yeah, safety again. You see some distance between those balls is very important when making a safety. And I will, I will, I will do it again so you see. It's very important to use the correct uh, speed on the shot. Uh, again, perfect. You see that? One ball over here, two ball over there. That's a pretty good safety right there. And you see, I think I succeeded three times in a row to get a safety. And I will show you the the normal the normal safety again. The normal safety, which I think is the wrong wrong way to do it. And see, I just barely snookered the opponent. But if if the people went too far, opponent can make the one. Okay, so you need to really really rely on uh, cue ball control to get a safety when you choose that shot. And many times you don't have a good, you, you are not in stroke many times, so you're going to lose the game if you don't play your best. And many, many good players, they attempt this, this safety. Sometimes they go too far, leave the opponent an uh, easy shot. So you can't really rely on this uh, this kind of safety here you can easily lose the game if it goes one inch too far but if you choose the other alternative with the rail first both, both the cube ball and the one ball will be far away from each, each other if the shot is open so i will show you it again rail first Ooh, i that time I hit the seven, I hit the seven ball that time. The one ball should have, should have been further. The one ball should be somewhere there. Yeah. I will show you, show it again. Here, and it was something like this here. So rail first with left spin. There, and you see that even if the one ball is open here, the opponent has a tough shot because the cue ball is over there. Okay, so let's continue the game. That was, that was a pretty interesting safety. Uh, you see that opponent can't really make this one ball at all. Let's see. The only way I can make this shot is by. Uh, Make it the eighth ball. Hitting the one with the few ball and pulling the eight. But that's a very tough shot. So I need to make a safety here. I could go for the nine ball, of course. I can I can try to go for the nine ball at the time at the same time as I make a safety. But that's a risky shot. This is an extremely difficult shot. This was a good safety I made before. It, it, it looks like an impossible shot right now. So here I will try to make the eight ball and make a safety at the same time on the one ball. Low left spin I need on this shot. Throw in the eight ball. At the same time, I want the I want the, the one ball to come in this way. I want I, I want some distance between the cue ball and the one ball. Okay, but try to get the one ball over here, somewhere in, in this area. And at the same time, try to make the eight ball. There you go. I did not. I didn't make the eight. I didn't get the one ball over here. That was a tough shot. So what do I have now? The only thing I can think here is to make the bank shot in the side pocket. 
At the same time, make a door shut. Get the cue ball back a little bit here for the two ball. If I miss the bank shot, the one ball might end up behind this box. Okay, so that is what I'm thinking about. I'm using the strategy here. If I miss a shot, opponent might not get anything. On this shot, I need to use a little uh, right spin to change the angle, because otherwise the one ball will go over there. Let's see. Yeah. So I use right spin on the cube ball. That will give left spin on the one ball, which will change the angle. Okay. Otherwise, one ball will go uh, too long. So here I use low right spin. Shoot, shoot soft with enough speed that the one ball is going to stop somewhere behind those balls. Don't shoot too hard. Don't shoot too soft. Medium speed. Like that. And. I hit it on this side of the pocket and I lost the game. So let me do that again. I used a little too much right spin on that shot. Let's do that again. Like that. Oh, I hit the point. I lost the game. Again. So this is a very, very tough shot. If you are not uh, comfortable with these bank shots, Make a safety instead. But I will try to make it now there. And now I, I have a good shot on the two ball in the corner, a long shot, but make a good shot. And I will do the one ball again. I will try to miss the one ball on that side of the pocket. That way I'm going to get the safety for the, for the opponent. I hit the point. Do it again. Again, it's a shot. There you go. And now we see one ball almost got stuck behind those balls. So that is the backup plan you have in case you miss the miss the shot. And you want to miss a shot on, on that side of the of the pocket. And I will do it again on that side of the pocket. And the one ball, I shot it too hard, so the one ball is, uh, was clear. Uh, my dog, is, my, my dog took something. My dog, my dog took something. I'll do it again. I'll try to miss the ball, miss the pocket. There, there, that's pretty good speed and come back back again there. That is something that can happen if you miss it, miss the shot. And I will do it again. Miss miss the miss the pocket. Miss the pocket. And it, no. The one ball is free. And I will do it again. Sometimes the one ball can hit the four and get stuck behind the six, so that's something that, that's something good. That's pretty good speed, and the one ball is behind the seven, so you got away with that miss, okay? And now I try to miss it on this side of the pocket. Oops, now I... <laughs> I hit on that side. So this, uh, this can be a, quite a dangerous shot if you, if you miss. So I'm not entirely satisfied with this. I'll try to miss it on, on this side of the side pocket. So I, I made it. Do it again. Do it again. I, I made it. I didn't mean to make the shot. I try to miss it there. There, oop. I hit the point of the pocket. That's a quite a dangerous shot, this one. I try to miss it on that side of the pocket. There, and let's see what happens. You don't 
you don't get away with, with that uh, miss if you hit it on that side of the pocket. So let's try the other alternative by, by uh, making a safety shot. We can make a safety shot here, but the safety is also very tough. So what, there, what many people do here in the safety is uh, they try to get the cube over there, one ball over here, they must leave him an open shot. I will, I will demonstrate to you what kind of what you can get, and you might scratch in the corner also if you if you attempt for the safety. So that's not that good idea either. And I will try it again. Make a safety. Make a safety like that, and you leave the opponent an easy shot on the one ball if you attempt for that safety. So that's not good either. But have you learned something? from the beginning. Have you learned something from the beginning? It is by using rail first. Rail first and the one ball will go over here, cue ball will stop over there. Let's see what we can get with the rail first. I, yeah, I, I made the ball. I will do it again. I hit it uh, too much behind, so I will really hit the one ball thinner. Red first and thinner, like that. And safety. Oh, it went a little too far. This it went a little too far, so I need to shoot that softer. I'm going to make a set shot. Softer. Softer. Like that, and uh, get some distance between those balls. Tough shot from the opponent, but he can still make it. So none of those alternatives were really that good. I need to make. Uh, this is a very tough shot. So uh, I don't think there's no much of a choice here. You are not going to get away with the miss, no matter what you do. You might as well try to make it in the side pocket by, by making the bank shot, like I showed you in the beginning. I think that's the best choice to do, the bank shot. And sometimes you get away with the miss, sometimes you don't. But at least uh, you try to go for it, and you try to go and win the game. So the first alternative was the best, and the others, the safeties that I, that I attempted, they were not so good. They were not so good. So if, if you are, if you are uncertain that uh, you are going to get get a, away with the safety, so to go for the shot, at least then you have, you have a chance to win. Now we have a long shot, very tough shot on the on the two ball. Uh, this is a missable shot. So there's a, there's a little angle on the two ball, so the cue ball is going to end up somewhere over here. Is this a good shot on the three ball? Let's look at the four ball. The four ball is makeable in, in the corner, so it's a good, it, it is a good shot to be here on the three ball. You make the three in the side, go one way and come back up for the four in the corner. So I will do that. I, I will make a low right spin shot. Mostly low, little right spin. There you go, that's a perfect shot. And the right spin was done to throw in the ball, so I could hit fuller on the two ball. Otherwise the cue ball would have ended, ended going too close to the rail if I did not use right spin on, on that shot. Now comes a tough shot, I need to hit hard into the rail and come back up again. Low right spin. Ooh, I hit a little too thin. So he hit the point of the pocket and, and he still went in. I have a good shot on the four now. Just draw it back a little bit. Choke the cue if you draw. Choke the edges of the cue. Not the, not the top. Because when you, when you use a draw shot, you hit the edge of the tip, not the top. So, here I use a 
low right spin, just a hair of right spin. There you go, perfect. And now let's see what we have here. If I make a stop shot on the six, going from the seven to the eight, it's quite easy. Go one way and here for the eight. And I could also draw back the cue ball, stop somewhere here on the seven, that's also fine. So I will do that, draw back the cue ball a little bit. Like that, whoops, it went a little too far. Went too far, but I'm still okay. And here always, if you have three balls left on the table, you choke the cue, and then you don't choke it again. Choke the cue, because I know that I don't need to use a lot of spin on the eighth ball. But I need to use a lot of spin on the seventh ball here. I need, I need to use a draw shot. Low left spin is what I need to use to get closer to the eight. And on the eight, I don't need to choke the cue. And on the nine, I don't need to choke the cue. So I have, I have already planned how I will choke the cue. Here I use low left spin. There you go. And I think, oh, I'm too full on the eight. So what I need to do is, I, I will just roll it in soft. Make the nine ball in that pocket instead. There you go, and the final, the final nine ball to win the game. I use the top right spin to throw in the nine ball. There you go, and the game is over. So always on the, on the nine ball use outside spin. Preferably top right spin, top outside spin. On that shot it was top right spin. Never use inside spin on any shot, unless you absolutely need. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.